I'm Scott Flowers with Cloud Ninjas. Today we're here to continue our series on the HPE ProLiant DL360 Gen 11 server. In this video, we're going to focus on power supplies. Let's get going. Hey, thanks for stopping by today to learn a little bit more about the HPE ProLiant DL360 Gen 11 server. Do us a favor, if you find anything that helps you in this video, click that like, smash that subscribe. All right, well, this will be a pretty quick and simple video. It's going to be dedicated to power supplies. What we're going to do is go over the different options, which there are six, and then at the end, we're going to show you how to install, which is incredibly simple. So let's talk about the options. First off, you have a 500 watt platinum, an 800 watt platinum, an 800 watt titanium, a 1000 watt titanium, a 1600 watt platinum, and then a 1800 watt to 2200 watt titanium. So there's several really good options. So it just depends on what you want. And it will be important because if you have the lower wattage and you start uh, adding more and more to this machine, you'll actually need to upgrade to the higher wattage. So just something to know going into it. If you do plan on upgrading with a second CPU, if you do plan on putting in a bunch of RAM, these are all things that are going to draw more and more power. So just something to be aware of uh, when you are selecting your power supplies. Well, that being said, let's show you how to install and I'm going to grab my ESD gear. All right, have my ESD gear on, so we are safe to work on our machine. So first things first, um, one of the things I didn't mention is you do need to make sure, let's say you only had one power supply in there, or one of them failed and you needed to upgrade it, and you were like, hey, what power supply should I get? You do need to make sure both power supplies are the same. You can't mix and match your power supplies. So uh, in this case, we're about to install a uh, second power supply we did make sure we match everything up there the 11 or excuse me the uh, 1000 watt um, so it's again the exact same one which is important so installing it is i mean incredibly easy so uh, you're just literally going to line this up slide it in and you'll see this will click into place and once it clicks into place i mean it's just that simple if you needed to remove it you're just pushing this and pulling out. So again, one of the easiest and simplest installs that we're gonna do. So hey, if you made it this far, click that like, smash that subscribe. And if you're looking for any custom built Gen 11 servers, we'd love the opportunity to build you guys some HPE servers. We do new and we do use. Thanks for stopping by, take care.